The following exhibits have been declassified under the Federal Program Transparency Act. Further warnings are included for archival purposes only. The following records have been classified Indigo Top Secret. Any personnel not directly authorized to view these records hereby revokes their right to due process and will be indicted as an active enemy of the United States of America. You have five seconds to cease viewing these records. On June 22, 1977, the Bureau of Applied Defense Development took steps to assure America's ongoing dominance in the space race by using cutting-edge Apollo technology in tandem with nuclear rocket propulsion in development at Hughes Apex Aerospace to launch Project Icarus, piloted by Captain Wick Pierce, formerly of the United States Air Force, on a manned, one-way, eight-year mission to Saturn's moon of Titan. The following was transmitted on April 7, 1978, while Icarus was between Earth and Mars orbits, 320,000 kilometers from Earth and moving at a velocity of approximately 46,000 kilometers per hour. At the time of this transmission, Icarus has been in flight for 290 days. Mission Control, this is Icarus reporting external damage to the radio communications array and a successful Echo Victor Alpha to restore radio operations. As your telemetry probably confirms, I started noticing a spotty connection to the array at 20 hours, 25 minutes, 59 seconds, 7 April 1978, Uniform Tango Charlie. Because I didn't hear any evidence of a small object collision, my assumption was that I'd kick something loose in here. Once I got in there with a multimeter and determined that the problem was not in the cabin, I started making plans for an Echo Victor Alpha to the far external side of the Icarus Command Module. There is enough wire left over in the springs of my command chair and the launch circuitry we no longer needed to construct a makeshift safety net to wrap around the command module and climb around on. Your telemetry should confirm that I breached the hatch at 07 hours, 05 minutes, 22 seconds on the 8th of April. And you know what? Okay, Control. I'm not going to play games here. I sabotaged the telemetry to justify the O2 cost of the EVA. And while there's not a damn thing you can do about it, I'm going to explain myself here because I made a call that's going to be pretty hard for the bean counters to respect, and I need you to talk them into it. For a year I have been up here, and for all I know I may as well have been standing still. How is a pilot supposed to know that this isn't some kind of psychological experiment? How do I know this isn't just a flight simulation? That I haven't been drugged up and stuffed into some kind of sensory deprivation tank? How do I know these stars are, are just lights? Six feet from my viewport. You don't know how long I've been up here. I have been up here a long time. We're still at the beginning of this thing. I just needed to go out and check it out. I threw my lucky coin and watched it disappear. I won't forget it. I just needed to check it out. It was worth the air it cost us to cold check this thing from the ground up and it won't happen again. I won't forget losing my lucky quarter, which is why I used it. So that's that. 